the Keurig hot beverage machine is really an amazing addition to our church. All one has to do is simply open the machine, take the flavor of coffee or apple cider or tea, maybe even hot chocolate. Put that particular container in the heart of the machine, close the lid. It's already loaded with hot water and when you mash that button, hot water runs through that cup and the flavor comes all the way out the bottom. It's amazing. There's a similarity between that and our heart. I'll show you. Welcome to Cop Church. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and 2, And so dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Just a brief seed thought that will produce a lot of fruit if you nurture and think on it for a while. Here it is. The good Lord knows what he designed us to be. He knows who he had in mind for us to be a positive influence on. And he even preset our potential at a very high level. Truth be told, we need a fair amount of motivation to get us to reach our potential. And think with me back to academy or troop school, maybe even basic training. Would you have gotten up on your own at 2 a.m. and learned how to work an accident? Did you come away from that experience having been stretched beyond what you would have normally been? Probably so. So how does the Lord motivate us to be the best that he knows we can be? Remember I demonstrated the Keurig hot beverage machine earlier. I really need something to drink. And it wasn't just a commercial. It's really a great object lesson. After we as individuals initiate a personal relationship with Christ, we find ourselves in the middle of a civil war going on inside. Our flesh is fighting against our born-again spirit, and it's hard sometimes to know which side has the advantage. Now, God himself already knows because he's omniscient, and he knows everything, but we're not. So to give us a little intel, here's what he does. The contents of our heart determine the direction of our actions. And the only way to get a good, honest look at the contents of our heart is to flush it out with hot water, figuratively speaking. Just like the little Keurig cup that you put into the machine. What's in the cup is what you get out. A predetermined flavor. Difficult circumstances of life, hot water experiences we're calling them, are the catalyst for drawing out our flavor. Matthew 12, 34 says, For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. So let's have the hot water experience. Okay, the baby's sick. Dangerously sick. Or someone shoots you in your vest with a pistol. Or it's one of those days that everything goes wrong. Maybe there's an unexpected expense that leaves you with more month at the end of the money. And on and on and on the hot water begins to run. And here's a simple one. Take one hammer and one nail and experience hitting your thumb instead of the nail. What comes out of your mouth? Answer, whatever flavor is in your heart. If profanity escapes the hot water experience, it just revealed that we have a profane heart at that moment. Something like, hallelujah, glory, good night, Susanna, comes out. It lets us know that our heart is of a cleaner nature. What came out of the mouth of Christ after they had beat his body senseless and stabbed his scalp with a crown of thorns and were driving big nails through his hands and his feet? Here's what he said. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. You see, that shows us the flavor of his heart. That's what it was at that particular moment. So why do we need to know the contents of our heart? If we're going to call ourselves disciples or followers of Christ, 
we got to exhibit Christ-like humility in hot water experiences because it's a testimony statement either way, positive or negative. Our human nature is self-centered and it's self-righteous. And when our heart is right, every forthcoming action will be right. Whether it's a traffic stop with a diff very difficult person or you're in disagreement with your teenager about proper dress or music or money or a hundred other issues. Our Bible text asks us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, giving up what we want for what God wants. Letting the Bible shape our thinking, not the talk on the street or the world philosophy. Being the best you can be is an ongoing process, whether that's a cop or a disciple. Remember this, the world is craving pleasant flavors in hot water experiences. If you want admiration, respect, promotion, Keep your head and make wise tactical choices in hot water situations. I mean, that's the only way to guarantee that, that that'll happen. Properly condition your heart. You see, if we don't properly condition our heart, when the tough time comes, we'll fail miserably. Appreciate you watching Cop Church. I'm Chaplain Johnson. See you next week.